What's up guys? Hey, Dr. Jared here, Tone and Titan. If you have pain that primarily bothers you on one side of your lower back, you're in the right place. In this video, I wanted to share with you six of my favorite stretches and exercises, techniques that you can do right at home to hopefully alleviate some of those symptoms for you, help you to feel better. Now, before we jump right into it, it's important that I mention that not all low back pain comes from the same source. Therefore, it is not all treated the exact same way. If your pain is primarily off to the side of your spine out here in this area, in the majority of cases, that is muscular in nature, in which case the exercises in this video are going to be the best ones for you. However, if you're experiencing more spine pain, disc pain, bulge disc, herniated disc, things of that nature, check the description to this video down below. I've linked some other videos that might be a little better at, at treating that pain specifically, so I hope that helps you out. Of course, if you get relief from these, if you enjoy this, leave me a comment down below. I always love to hear from you guys. Hit the thumbs up button if you do like the video. Thank you so much in advance for doing that. That said, first stretch coming your way right now. The first thing I want to do is introduce you to a mobilization technique in your lower back. Now in that area, you've got a lot of muscles, you've got fascia or connective tissue that are kind of layered on top of each other. If they're not moving the way that they should, that can be a cause of pain. First thing that we need to do is unlock those areas, release those muscle knots to help you to move better and to feel better. Now to do that, what I recommend is um, one of two things, a golf ball or a, or a tennis ball work well. Some people say they like the golf ball because it's smaller. Other people say they don't like the golf ball because it's harder. You might play with that and see which one you like more. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll show you with this tennis ball. What you're gonna do is lay down on your back with your knees bent. I'm gonna lift my hips slightly up off of the table and then put that tennis ball right under that area of my lower back that's painful. I don't want it to be right on your spine, it should be just off of your spine in the muscles and in the connective tissue that are, that are sticking, that, are, that, are, that have the muscle knots and that are causing pain. As soon as you find that spot, you can lower your hips down to increase the pressure of that tennis ball on your lower back and then hang out there for about five to 10 seconds. What you should notice is that tension and pain starts to decrease as that muscle knot releases. Another thing that you can do is slightly lift your hips up and then move your hips side to side. And what that does is that rolls that ball over and back that muscle knot or over that area that's sticky. That's another great option to help release the tension in that area. And typically what I recommend on this is that you spend about 10 to 30 seconds on it and then repeat that three times. After performing those mobilizations and decreasing the tension in your back, let's follow that up with some stretching to your lower back. Here are two of my favorites. We're gonna start with a lumbar rotation stretch. To do that, you're gonna lay down on your back, both knees bent with your feet together and with your knees together. Now what I'm going to do is just drop both knees down to the side. So right now I'm going to the left until I get a good comfortable stretch right here in the right side of my lower back. Whichever direction your knees go, you're stretching the opposite side of your back. So if your pain is primarily on your left, you're gonna want your knees to go over here to the right. Again, just until we get a good comfortable stretch in the lower back. The hips can come up off of the floor, but I want your shoulders to stay flat on the floor. And again, when we stretch right here, we're gonna to get to that comfortable spot, hold it for 20 seconds, and then repeat that three times. If you need something a little more aggressive than that, what I want you to do is extend one leg out. Now as I drop my right knee down to my left, with my left hand, I can grab the outside of my knee and pull that into a little bit more rotation. Once again, it's important that you keep your shoulders flat. Once again, that's a little more aggressive. That's a higher, that's a deeper stretch over here on this side. But if you can tolerate it, it's a good way to get more of a stretch out of it. Same parameters apply, three times 20 seconds. The next stretch that I want to show you is a piriformis stretch. Honestly, nine patients out of 10 who have low back pain have tightness in this piriformis muscle. This is a great stretch to help you out with that. If my pain were over here, let's say on my right side, what I'm going to do is cross my right leg over my left knee. With my hands, I'm gonna grab back behind my left knee and then pull that left knee up towards my left shoulder. Just until I get a good stretch right here in the right side that's deep in the right buttock, you might feel that a little bit up into the lower back as well. You're gonna hold that for 20 seconds and then you're going to repeat that three times. Our last stretch for this one-sided low back pain is a variation on a child's pose yoga stretch. Looks just like this. 
So we're going to get down on all fours. I want your hands to be slightly higher than your shoulders. Our first step is we're going to tuck our chin into our chest and then sit down onto our heels until we just get a good stretch throughout our entire spine. A lot of people will feel that even from their neck all the way down into their lower back area. But now, what we can do to bias that stretch to one side, let's say that that pain is over primarily on my left side, I can actually walk both hands over here to my right. Now, as I get into that same stretch position, it's just a much bigger stretch on my lats down into my quadratus lumborum. You're going to feel that throughout primarily the entire left side of your back as your hands are over here to the right. Now obviously if the pain was on the right side, we walk our hands over here to the left and then that's the position that I want you to perform that stretch in. Once again, you're going to hold it for about 20 seconds and repeat that three times. All right, so we've mobilized that area, we've stretched it out. The last thing that we need to do are some strengthening exercises to address any weaknesses or imbalances that you might have in your lower back. Here are two great exercises to help you to do that. The first exercise are gonna be some bridges. Lay down on your back with your knees bent. What I want you to do is contract your glutes, so squeeze your butt, and then use your hips to lift your pelvis up off of the floor. We're gonna hold that for about one, two, three seconds, and then come right back down, and then perform another repetition. Typically what I shoot for with these bridges is about 10 to 20 reps repeated three times. However, when that gets easy, my goal is usually to go to a single leg bridge as quickly as possible. It's a little more effective strengthening, it looks just like this. If I were to work with, the, with my right glute, or if my pain was primarily on your right side, if I wanted to work this right glute, what I would do is extend my left leg out and now keep that leg straight while you use this right hip to raise your entire lower body up off of the table. So it looks just like that and come right back down. Typically what I recommend is go high enough so that your legs are parallel like when they're up in this you know, highest position and then come right back down. Try to keep your hips level. Don't let your hips fall to one side like this. You want to use those muscles to keep your hips up nice and strong. Once again, three sets of about 10 to 15 reps is what I shoot for with the glute bridges, even with the single leg variation. The last thing that we're going to do is one of my favorite exercises for just the entire posterior chain, all of the muscles in your back and your spine erectors. This is going to be a swimmer. You're going to lay down on your stomach with your hands extended out over your head. Now what I want to do is lift my entire right leg up off of the floor while I lift my left arm as high as I can take. So it looks just like this and then return back down to that starting position and then we're going to alternate. Lift that right leg, uh, right, or right arm, left leg, there we go, and then right back down. So it looks just like this. And we're just gonna alternate each side, focusing on squeezing those muscles in your back and in your butt, kind of the glutes, as well as all those spinal erector muscles through the lower back area. And typically what I recommend is about 10 to 20 reps on each side, and then you can repeat that three times. So I hope this helped you out. Of course, if it did, once again, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you're looking for more help with your lower back, this video right here might be the answer for you. You might want to check that one out. For some reason, YouTube thinks that you might like this video right here, so be sure to check that one out. If you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet and want to do so, I'd love to see you back for future videos. Hit the circle here to subscribe. We'll see you again soon here on Tone and Titan.